Hey guys, Jackson here. Part 2 in my video walkthrough slash strategy guide for Bloodborne. This is part 2 of Central Yarnum. I'm going to have them uh, categorized by area. So this is Central Yarnum. This is part 2 of that. I'm showing you this little off passage that leads off of the bridge where the first boss fight is with the Cleric Beast. Who's also optional. Don't have to fight him. Come down in this house. Careful, there's two guys up there. There's one right here at the bottom of the stairs, and there's a dude in a wheelchair over here. He seems harmless. He's not. He's just as big asshole as everyone else is around here for some reason. So, come out here and open this door. You can roll into it a couple times if you're feeling cool. Um, come up here. Watch out for this torch barrier, bearer, the bearer of the torch. Pick up that bloodstone shard, gotta love those. Crack this gate open, and there you are back at the first lamp. So that's the first little shortcut I'm going to show you. That'll make it easier on you to get to areas when you die. Come down here. We're going to go down here, and this is just going to make it easier for you later. you got to face these guys one way or another. It's easier to face them from over here. Pull them one at a time. Don't try to fight them both at the same time. That's madness. Get a visceral on them real quick, and you usually whip out a couple of quick attack afterwards, and they'll die. I didn't that time. But you can just run up on them and instantly kill them with a couple of slashes, so. That one's a hard one when they do that one. That is the one. That guy does a lot, too. But you can get him still. Get the visceral. Kill him. These guys are pains in the asses. But once you get them down, that you got them down, they become like, you kind of see them and you're actually kind of happy it's them. Instead of other things. So... Gonna whip up here real quick. And go up here. And as you can see, this is also on the bridge. Just a little little area that leads up to the bridge that's caved in, but there's a cold blood dew in there. Get those, those are great. I like to save those for boss fights. So that I can have some, you know, if I die and I have to you run out of blood vials, I don't have to go farm, I can just pop some blood dew. That shortcut back there, that elevator that the vice was not currently working, that's a shortcut that I'll show you later. I just wanted to show you that's where you come up and it's a bitch to take on those giants from that side. You come over here, you kill these wolves. They're easy, they're just chilling inside. I guess they're dogs. I don't know, wolf dogs, whatever, they're crazy. They're just in the cages. There's one to the left right here that's not in a cage, and then he, as you can see, he takes two hits. So get ready to hit him twice. And I thought this was her, but it's not. She'll immediately start talking shit too when you get there. But here's an NPC right here. She's some old lady. She's kind of a bitch. Whatever. You can talk to her. She's an interactive NPC that does things. Um, come in here. And we're going to go out here first. Be really careful out here. I actually fall down. But you could, for the purposes of this, like, try not to fall. But, see, so this cold blood do now these things right here, they're hanging their bodies, they got items on them, so cut that chain to make them fall. Yeah, I screw up and fall right here, not paying attention. I get, I get blinded by shinies sometimes. Anyway, if you fall, get that cold blood do get it later. I just, I just skipped out, I ran away. I was like, I'll show them how to clear it the right way when you don't fall off. So don't fall off. Come up here. That's why you don't want to fall off. It takes a minute to get back up here. 
So go around here, and you're already going to have to come back up here, because you can only get one of those items on the fall down. You come over here, cut the chain holding this guy up, and through here, too nice, is an optional NPC, and she has quest lines. I didn't talk to her, her name's Eileen. Go ahead and meet her, talk to her. Make sure you talk to her before you kill either, the, either of the first bosses. So you drop down here. And there's some guys with a rifle right here. It's a guy. These guys you want to kill because they have a rare drop of bloodstone shards. And later on, when you progress a little bit more, they'll actually even drop twin bloodstone shards. So They're always worth killing. Let's kill them. This guy's a little bit different. He's got a rod. He hits really hard, and he does a haymaker that can in one kill, one shot kill you. So just don't don't get hit by him. That's the best advice I can give you about those guys. All right, so we're gonna drop down here and get these items that we cut down up top. Watch out for the rats. They're easy if you can ha get them one at a time and stuff. But you, you don't want to try to take on too many of them at once. Even though later you're going to be forced to <laughs> in Chalice Dungeons, at that point, just run. Just run. Oh, and at the end of this little area, there's two. And there's a Madman's Knowledge, or Knowledge of the Madman, or whatever it is. It gives you insight. It's a consumable item. I suggest you use that right when you get it. Because that way your next time back to the dream, as soon as you get some insight, the doll's going to be active and actually allow you to level up. So you want to do that as quick as possible. This guy fell down. He's actually up top normally, but he fell down when I fell down. He's like, I'll fall down with you. I don't even care. Climb back up, circle back around. This is just to make sure you get all those items. Watch out for that rifle guy. He'll hit you once on the tower. Make sure your health's full. Drop down, down here. Now there's a little bit more rats right here. So I like to pull them into this right here. Because there's kind of a choke neck right there in that area. They still manage to almost kill me. But just watch out. Dodge lots. Then back up, back up. All right. So there's going to be this guy with a rifle, and there's one across the bridge as well. He shouldn't be able to hit you as long as you stay right where that guy's located, right in that area. He's got that blocking him, and then you can just get in on him and kill him. Come down here and get this item. I miss these bullets. I like the bullets. Try to pick up everything, because even if you're full, like, even if you have, like, 20 silver bullets and you, uh, pick up five, they'll, you'll still pick them up and they'll go into your storage, and then the next time you die and you revive, you'll actually have 20 again, because it'll just automatically pull from your hunter storage. Some stupid crows, if you notice right down there, there's an item, that's what you're aiming for, drop onto that, get that and then drop down here and this is a part of the sewer that actually intersects with another part of the sewer that I'm going to show you later and uh, but for this purpose I just wanted to show you the easier way to get this 
The other way has a special item. It has free hunter clothes, so you don't have to buy to equip, and they actually give you more defense and stuff. A little bit more resistances as well. I'm going to have that in the next video. So, here you clear these guys. And I'm also going to show you the last shortcut unlock in Central Yarnum in the next video that leads to another interactive NPC that will actually do stuff. Anyway, you come down here, watch out for the crows that are up top on the banister. You just run underneath them real quick. They'll still get you if you don't watch out. They're easy though, one hit, one date. A couple of more of these dead gross body looking sons of bitches. They're almost like lurkers, is what they, I bet you they're called lurkers. You get in there and you try to get greedy and they're going to kick your ass, so don't be stupid like me. Try to hang back. Just poke them down. Greed accounts for 90% of your deaths in this game, I will say right now. If you just would have taken the half a second to wait until it was an open hit, and you wouldn't have had to spend the next 10 minutes repeating the exact same thing you just did to get to the point where you were. Where you're going to have to wait that half a second anyway. So, just wait that half a second. More birds up top. Alright, now be careful guys. This is the first little, I guess, challenge if you don't know how to handle it. But you walk down here, there's a piggy down here at the end of the hallway. Don't go up that ladder. If you go up that ladder, it leads to an area that there's an ambush and you'll get killed. So don't go up there. The best safe way is to just face the pig, believe it or not. He's easy once you get him out of there. Bring him out here. Um, slowly poke at him. He does a couple of different attacks. He does this one where he just slams down. He's, he's really slow. Watch out for that belch, that purple, that'll poison you. It's no fun. Dodge under him when he does that. He's just trying to slam you. He's easy. He's not bad at all. He's a good boss to learn how to dodge on. Go down here. Don't go all the way down the end of this hallway. There'll be like 13 notes telling you to because people are assholes, but don't do it. It's a drop and a death, so don't do it. It's right down there. So don't go down there. I was surprised there wasn't any notes. When I first played it, there was like two that said secret item waits ahead, so I dropped down, and of course I was dead. Go up this ladder. Don't roll into it, otherwise it'll glitch out and not let you press X. And I'm going to end this video at the location of Gascoigne, and then showing you the elevator that leads you back up to the shortcut that leads to the lamp. And then from there, you're going to want to go back to the main bridge where those two werewolves are. And I'm going to show you from there the sewers, the other part of the sewers that actually has a piece of gear in it. And then from there, I'm going to show you how to get the third shortcut with the, third, with the other optional NPC. And that's, that's going to be in the next video. So this one you're going to end up here is where Gascoigne is. Watch out for these two dudes. They're crazy. If you let them get crazy, they'll kill you. Just always move back. Because, I mean, it's easier to move back than get caught in that. Like, that was hard. If I had been, even had just one, like, fall damage, I would have been dead. So watch out for these dudes. So once you kill them, definitely loot them. Get this right here. Those will pounce you back. If you feel like you want to return to the Hunter's Dream right now, make sure you use the insight thing and go back right now. That will get you right back and you keep your, your all your stuff. Or you can unlock this other optional shortcut. I recommend you do. Come over here across the way. When you come up that ladder and they activate that ambush, it's going to kill all these dudes down here too. So you'll have loot just waiting on the ground. Grab it. And here's the last shortcut I'm going to show you guys in this video. This is where I'm going to end it, guys. Here's that elevator that leads up there where you killed those two big ogre giants. 
And you know where to find the lamp from there? From there, I'll meet you back on the bridge with the Clark Beast.